Because we had decided to use this completely virtual environment approach, we figured it's an opportunity to take the best of the animation process and the best of motion capture and the best of live action. You combine those things. You can do something that nobody's done before. You could just walk, we'll add everything else. And I was like, but how? That's not possible, but they made it possible. This is a virtual production workflow. We're trying to leverage the latest technologies that are available to us in lighting, rendering, and interactivity to enable a new set of tools to visualize shots that they would see on a live action set. What makes us able to make this movie now is the technology to have photo real animal animation. Will you look at that? Camera set, add, action. Every single shot requires hundreds of people and a tremendous amount of collaboration. <laughs> A lot of it is research. You just do a ton of research. That is your basis of reality. And the research is good because it sparks ideas and different ways of looking at it, and you get to kind of live it and walk through it. It's pretty much starting with the backbone or the basis of real life. The way it moves and looks and scrunches its face and the way it reacts to light, the only fantastical thing is that they actually speak. What do you think they're talking about? This idea of blending old and new technology and then to see how they sew it all together. For me, it's magic. The goal here is for people to not know what's real and what's not real. There's a lot of people, a lot of artists working on this film. There's a lot of technicians. Everybody's been very generous in sharing their techniques and their experiences. It's really been remarkable. Films have to be an emotional experience for the audience. You have to tell a good story. I wanted to hold that standard. If I'm engaged emotionally with the characters, all the spectacle was worth it. is a great story. And as with all of my films, it always starts with the cast. We have Bill Murray in the role of Baloo. Am I in the right monkey temple? Baloo introduces Mowgli to the more fun aspect of the jungle. Chris Walken plays King Louie. Call me Louie. Well, King Louie is the king of the jungle. He's a gigantic gorilla. Where are you going, man cub? And Idris Elba plays Shere Khan the tiger. He's got a lot of power to his voice. Mowgli. They've given it a name. I think the most exciting thing about being a part of this project was that my daughter and my son were going to get to see a classic with their dad's voice. Come on. Hey, come back! Scarlett Johansson plays Ka the snake. I know what you are. In this film, Ka is more of a storyteller. Would you like to see? We have Lupita Nyong'o in the role of Raksha. Raksha is the protector, the eternal mother. You will always be my son. I felt really connected to that. Giancarlo Esposito plays Aquila, the alpha wolf. No more tricks. Going high! Stay low. Sir Ben Kingsley plays Bagheera. Bagheera! The characters are really well defined. You must be the very worst wolf I've ever seen. We have Neil Seti, who plays Mowgli the only live action character in the film. Oh! Mowgli, when a kid is not intimidated, is charismatic, and Neil is one of those guys. You said they didn't stink. Just put some uh, honey on those. We have a perfect cast. All of these people have come together to create something big and exciting. Hey, did you know that Walt Disney refused to allow Alfred Hitchcock to film at Disney in the early 1960s because he made Disgusting movie psycho. Mm. For this and more movie facts, click on more videos or click on the playlist for more trailers.